Hi, I just want to walk you through some of the new features we've added to Snap SVG Animator, the plugin that I created for Adobe Animate CC, formerly Flash. So if you haven't checked out our previous video and used Snap SVG Animator, be sure to check it out. Here's a link below, but it'll walk you through how you can use the timeline to create rich animations that you can then export to SVG content. So our latest version actually allows scripting within Animate CC, which means we can create rich interactive SVG content using Animate CC. So here's an example of something I created and you can see I have hover states so I can using my mouse as I hover over this element it actually moves to a new keyframe within that movie clip and then I can click this element which is going to trigger an animation. You'll see it'll play through this animation. We can also do uh, keyboard events, so I can use my keyboard to animate this character, and as I get closer, I'm using JavaScript to script all of this, so that w when he starts to hit the guy, it, it shows this speech bubble. So I'll show you the FLA that was used to create this. Here you can see we have just have our little timeline here with our, our animation. This is our root timeline. If I open up the actions panel, you'll see up here we have this stop. So we're stopping the main timeline. And then we're just collecting a couple of variables that we're able to, so we're able to reference the movie clips. And this is all using their instance names. So you see here I have play button, which is our main button. And if I go into our actions panel here, um, we have our play button and on click we're then going to calling go to and play on the main timeline so we're going to the next frame and continuing to play through we also have our mouse over and our mouse out events this is all using JavaScript and using the snap SVG li library to access these objects and then trigger these events so what that's going to do is go to our second frame and play through where we have our characters coming into view. And then if we go to this frame, again, we have a stop being called at the beginning so that it stops our animation in the main timeline. Then again, collecting a couple variables. These are for our characters. And what we're doing here is we're simply on key down, collecting these keyboard events and calling move to the various directions based on the size and position of our character. So this is all the, the math and logic kind of controlling that. So as you can see, we can do some pretty cool stuff, pretty interesting stuff. So now I'm going to take you through a detailed example from scratch on how you can create scripted uh, animations. So all we do to create a new scripted Snap SVG animator project is create a new project using our snap SVG animator document type um, and then what we're gonna do is just make some drawings so we're gonna draw some circles these are gonna be our buttons we're gonna convert that to a movie clip Let me drag this in. we'll call this button one and then I'm just gonna draw this is gonna be our main area Again, convert that to a movie clip. We'll call that main MC. And then I'll just create another button that we're going to change the color of. So this is going to be red. We'll call that button two. And what we're going to do is we're going to set it up so that these two buttons basically change this content. So what I need to do is go into this, create a new keyframe, and we'll change the color on this keyframe to red, and then I'm just going to create a little script on here, say stop so that it doesn't play the animation. So what we can do now is go into our main timeline actions panel, and we're just going to um, create some variables that make it easier to reference these. So we're able to reference all of our instance names within our scope. So we just call this, here, 
know, we'll call that button one. Is this button one, button two equals this button two, and then main MC equals this main MC. So now what we're gonna do is create some mouse event handlers. So on button one, click, and this is a method within Snap SVG. So if you're not familiar with Snap SVG's API, um, they have some good documentation, be sure to check it out. And what we're gonna do is call main MC, go to and stop one. And we'll just copy this and paste it. And do the same thing for button two. So now button one should make this go to the first frame and button two should make this go to the second frame. So let's publish this and we'll see here if I click button two, we get red. If I click button one again, it goes back to yellow. So you can see I can go back and forth. And this is just a simple example of the kind of things we can script with this and you can see Using the timeline, we can do much more interesting things. We could have these things animate. We can do go to and play so that it creates a richer animation. We can also get keyboard events to add keyboard interactivity. So really the possibilities are endless with the kind of interactive content you can make use with Animate CC and export to interactive SVG content. So there's one other cool thing I want to show you about the scripting features that we've enabled within Snap SVG Animator, and that's external scripting. So here you can see I have I have a timeline, but there's nothing on the stage. I don't have anything actually drawn onto my stage. Instead, what I have are these movie clips within my libraries panel with linkage names. So this means that I'm able to access these through JavaScript without having to add them to my stage manually in the timeline. So if we look at the code that actually runs this, you'll see here I'm just getting my SVG anim object like, like I would normally. So this is the code that's generated when you publish. But what I'm also able to do is edit this and access these variables. So inside of it, we have this linkage property, which contains all of our exported movie clips. We can then just simply add a movie clip, add it to our stage, and then manipulate it with JavaScript the way we would normally with SVG. So we, we're using Snap SVG here to simply add a translate to one of our movie clips that we're adding to the stage. So we have this transform where it's moving it um, over 300 pixels and down 190. And then we're able to do that with our other movie clip as well on the stage. So if I go back into animate and hit publish, you'll see what we get is we get those two items added onto the stage with their respective transforms, right? So this adds a lot of cool flexibility in how you can script using animate CC to create SVG content. So you, using Snap SVG Animator, you can now script and create interactive content both inside of the tool and through external scripting. So you can include your libraries you like to use or, or just script as many files as you want using JavaScript, all in the IDE of your choice. So I think this is a pretty cool feature. Definitely check it out. Um, and you can get this again on the Adobe add-ons portal um, and install it directly through Creative Cloud into Adobe Animate CC.